Hey, hi everyone. How are you? Welcome to another focus activity courtesy of my S. So today we are doing a focus activity called in town. So, so let me know you're here in the comment section. Okay, uh, how are you? How is everyone? Okay, um, so my name, my name is Kirsty. My name is Kirsty. Nice to meet you all. I hope you are all well and um, enjoying the nice weather. It's very windy in Rome. It's windy. It's so windy here in Rome today. It's windy. Okay, where do you live? In Italy or in another country, for example? France, Spain, where do you live? Where do you live? Okay. So, um, I am from Edinburgh in Scotland, but I live in Rome. I'm an English teacher in Rome and I've lived in Rome for almost two years, almost two years. Where do you live? So oh. let's have a look at the focus activity we're going to do today in town. In this focus activity, we're going to be asking questions, um, going to the supermarket. Uh, we will be at the post office and we will be having conversations in town. Okay. Put the questions in the correct order. So we've got three pictures on the screen. Picture of the countryside with lots of houses. And then we've got another picture of the countryside with fields. It's probably where the farmer lives. Okay. The farmer and his sheep, probably cows. And in the third picture, we've got a town. A town with two churches. Okay. So. Make the screen a bit bigger for you, okay? How would we ask these questions? So the questions are mixed up. It's like scrambled egg, okay? All the words are in the wrong order. How do we put them into the right order? Well, in English, what we need first is the question word. What is a question word? Well, a question word is usually something like what, what, why. 
clear. Hello, Marcello, how are you? I am from Edinburgh in Scotland. I wrote it up here. <laughs> I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland. Okay. Where where are you from? Where do, where are you from? You don't have to tell me the honest truth if you don't want to. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, Marcello, we are doing a focus activity. It's a lesson on town. Ah, nice. I have never been to Sicily. Oh, one, one second. I have never been to Sicily, but I would love to go. I would very much like to go. Good. Well done for correcting yourself. And how are you? Are you well? Are you well, Marcello? Okay, so what I was describing before is how to construct a question. So first step we need to do is put the question word first. So when we, we ask a question, usually we need to put the question word first, okay? So some of my suggestions were, what okay why where and maybe when okay um so when i ask a question with a question word okay what happens is that this creates an open question okay oh i just see your messages and i I'm very well. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. Um, I'm going to ask you, I think it's just you and I. <laughs> um, are you working? Are you working? Or are you at home? Okay. Okay, good. I'm pleased to hear it. I'm pleased to hear it. It's good to be at home. We all need to, we all need to be at home at the moment. That's very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Marcello, I normally work in Rome. Um, I'm at home in Rome at the moment, um, but I, I'm working online, which is good. Um, okay, so I'm just going to explain to you how to create a question, okay? So number, step number one, question, word. Step number two is the verb. So if we say where, the next word is are, blah, 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 okay? So the verb is the helper verb. We call it the auxiliary. auxiliary verb it means the, the verb that helps okay um step three 
subject subject very important okay which is where we get where are you okay where are you and then the, the next part is it depends on the construction, but in English it gets quite complicated, but don't worry, we, we, we'll build this up in slow steps. Where are you from? Okay, where, where are you from? Okay, so you told me where you're from, Marcello. Um, I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland, so I am from Edinburgh. Yeah, good, well done. Exactly, questions are difficult in English, okay? So in English, we have two types of questions, okay? So we've got an open and closed questions. Okay, so um, open questions are like, for example, what, uh, what is your name? That's, that's an open question. Why? Why? Well, because I can say any name in response. I can give you any response. Okay. But if I say, is your name John? You can say yes or no. Okay. Because maybe your name isn't John. Okay. So, Example, is your name John? Closed question. Okay, good, excellent. So, Marcello, what do you think the answer is for question two and three on the screen? What do you think? I'll give you some time. <laughs> yeah, good. And the next one, the last one. Of the last one, what do you think it is? It's, do you think it's a, an open question or a closed question, this? Number three. Yeah, awesome. Well done. Perfect. Well done. That was really, really good work. Good. Excellent. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay. So now we are going to pretend we are at the supermarket, the supermarket. I want you to match the word to the picture. Let's go. Hello. Oh, another person's joined. Is are you sure? Okay. Be vegetables. Yes. You might want to rethink bread. Are you sure? Mm. 
Okay. B is vegetables. Well done. B is vegetables. Not quite. A. So A equals meat. E is fruit. Well done. E is fruit. F is cleaning products. Well done. Excellent work. Okay. But A is meat. Okay, so therefore, what is C? What's C? Yeah, D is bread. Good. Well done. C. What's C? You have it on your cereal. Or maybe if you like a cappuccino, you might, instead of a cappuccino, you might have a latte. So what do you think milk is? Good, well done, awesome. <laughs> Good. Um, question, question. Um, which, ah, which? Actually, I'll make this slightly easier. What food do you like? Open question. What food do you like? Ah, cool, awesome. I like Chinese food. Good for you. Good for you. I like it too. Um, I I really like rice. I really like rice. Okay. Change the question. What food don't you like? What don't I like? Uh, I don't like. Uh, ooh, what don't I like? I don't like uh, prawns. Okay. Okay. Cleaning products. Cleaning products. Um, you can see alcohol. Um, you can see detergent. Um, bleach. I'm just going to give you some words, guys, and then you can have a look to see what these are. So we've got cleaning products, alcohol, detergent, bleach. Um, mm -mm -mm. Sponge.
Um, um, I'm going to say cloth. And finally, I'm going to say broom. OK. Oh, the last one, gloves. What do you think these words mean? So I'm going to show you all these words. What do you think these words mean? Just guess, write a post in the comments. Okay. Do you want me to give you a clue? Okay, so alcohol is you get it in a bottle like this and you use it to clean to clean a table, the floor, something dirty. Okay, dirty. Dirty means not clean, not clean. Okay. Detergent, detergent you use to clean, like soap. Detergent is like soap. So when you wash your hands, soap is a kind of detergent, but you put detergent in the washing machine. Washing machine, okay? Detergent, also good for cleaning. Bleach, bleach you put in the toilet to clean. Sponge, sponge is when you wash your plate, okay? Uh, a cloth, a cloth is what you use to clean, like sponge, like sponge, but for floor, for floor, okay, and broom, uh, yeah, oh good, I'm glad you understand, broom is like the big, big brush, like brush, so, for example, this is a hairbrush, hairbrush, okay? But a brush for the floor, broom. Okay, good. And gloves, okay, awesome. Well done, Marcello. Okay, let's look at the supermarket. Ask for the location of items on your shopping list. Okay, so... Um, I want you to ask questions, Marcello, and other participant. Let me know who, what your name is. Okay. Um, so, do you have, where is the, where are the, okay. I want you to ask questions. Ask questions for, imagine you are in the supermarket and you need to ask for objects in the supermarket, okay? I don't mind what you ask for. Okay. I'm gonna write a little example for you. You okay, standard. Do you have any toilet paper? Do you have any vegetables? Good. Well, I hope so. I hope so at the supermarket. It depends where you go to do your shopping. Maybe uh, maybe in a small supermarket, you might not have many vegetables. Um, do you know what the, the thing is called? So I'm thinking of an object. 
that you use to weigh vegetables and fruit. Do you know what that's called? Okay, so what is the object used to weigh fruit and vegetables? Okay, I'm playing games with you guys. Okay, I've spelt the word for you. It goes like this. S-C-A-L-E-S. -E Scales. So the machine you use to weigh, weigh fruit and vegetables and you get the sticker, the sticker, the little um, a sticker. Oh, sorry, I've misspelled that. <laughs> stick it, not stick it, sticker. Um, sticker, the one, this one's correct. Okay, I'll just move that. No, never mind. Okay, um, so sticker is the little label that you put on fruit and vegetables it tells you the price the price of um an orange an apple okay all right okay can you think of other questions so any uh do you have any vegetables great another question any what do you think? Oh, we've got another person joined. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. At the moment, we are asking questions. So ask for the location of items on your shopping list. Do you have any tomatoes? Good. Excellent. Yeah, it's a very important question. Do you have any tomatoes? What about another question? What do you think? Do you have any potatoes? Right, spelling. So, to, you spell it like to, tomatoes and potatoes. Okay. It's the spelling. We have to say, um, okay, so tomato, one tomato, correct. But when you make it plural, you need to add E before the S. Same for potato, okay? So t t one tomato, one potato, two tomatoes, three potatoes, okay? So, um, all right, good. Um, I've got another question for you, a very important question. Where is the wine aisle? Where is the wine aisle? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so aisle aisle is like um, uh, I think sort of like corridor. It's not quite that, but it's it's not far off. Okay. Um. 
Here is the, the beer. Where is the beer? Okay, can anyone else think of some questions? Type in the comment section. So type in the comment section. Okay. Um, uh, do you have the beer is in the refrigerator? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Beer is in the refrigerator. Excellent. Um, uh, I can't find. Okay, I'm going to give you a situation. You give me an answer. Okay, I can't find the the um the ice cream can't find the ice cream so this is a statement i can't find the ice cream tell me where is it where is it Yeah, good. Where is the ice cream? Answer that question, Marcello. So, where is the ice cream? Right, well done. Answer. What's the answer? And the next, the next one is, I'm looking for the Grana Padano. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone help Marcello? Good, well done. Where is the Grana Padano? Awesome, well done. Uh, next one. I'm. Um, I don't know where the. Uh, the cleaning products are. I think there's a short delay um, on this, um, so I'll give you another moment and then we'll move on. So I don't know where the cleaning products are, what's the question? Okay, so I don't know where the cleaning products are. Where are the cleaning products? Where are the cleaning products? Okay, you can also see what 
aisle, what aisle are the cleaning products in? Okay. What aisle are the cleaning products in? What aisle are the tomatoes in? Okay, good, excellent. Oh, more people have joined. Excellent. So now we're going to the post office. So guys, we have left the supermarket. We've paid for our food. And it's only taken us two hours to get into the supermarket and then 10 minutes to run around the supermarket and then uh, we've left the supermarket. So now we're going to the post office. OK, now I want you to match the pictures and the words together. OK, let's do this. Answer in the comments section. What letter goes with which word? Okay, let's go. Good. Excellent. A stamp. B, B send. Could be B. Yeah. C postcard. Absolutely. D envelope. And E address. So F. Excuse me. F, kind of a gurgling there. F is letter, apologies. Um, good. Excellent. Well done, Marcello, you win that competition. It was a really difficult competition. Well, well done. You you really you really did well there. There was some tough competition. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to the next slide. Ask for what you need. So, good morning. Good morning. Can I send a letter? Yes, you can. Can I have a stamp? Of course. How much is it? It's two pounds, okay? So, so can, <laughs> can I send a letter? Can I send a letter? What do you think, yes or no? Are you going to be good cop or bad cop? Can I send a letter? Please, please. <laughs> okay, um, so that's an important point. We would say, yes, you can. Good, I'm glad you've given me the permission to do that. Yep, so we would say, please, can I have a stamp? Please, can I have a stamp? Please, can I have a stamp? Um, or can I have a stamp, please? Okay, it's important we say please. Okay, please and thank you, really important in English, okay? Please, can I have a stamp? Of course, of course. Okay, it means certo, okay? Of course. How much is it? How much is it? We can say how much is it? It means the stamp, okay? It means stamp okay um but you can also say how much is a stamp 
if you want to be specific okay how much is a stamp okay now you can see um special delivery <laughs> no you can't because it's finished <laughs> a question do you have any stamps oh my goodness <laughs> it's three pounds are you joking do you have any cheap cheaper stamps <laughs> <laughs> cheaper means um economical it's too expensive three euros for a stamp what are you what are you talking about <laughs> three three pounds it'd be pounds three pounds so you can see uh, we have run out of stamps you say to run out, um, to run out, um, okay, to run out, um, it's like when you exhaust, um, I don't know if you say esaustire in Italian or not, but it's like it means you have nothing left, you have used everything. Um, so, um, to have nothing left. So we would say to run out, we have run out of stamps. The cost is, the cost that you first stamp is. <laughs> I like that price. That's a good price. Can I have that price? <laughs> But how long? How long? Does it take two weeks? Two weeks to post a letter? <laughs> okay, so we've got um, special delivery. Um, we've also got recorded delivery. Recorded delivery. Okay, that's usually very expensive. Here it's like six euros each way. Six euros to send something, six euros to come back. It's ridiculous, depending on the size. And then we've got, um, do you know what parcel means? If I say parcel, what's a parcel? What's a parcel? What do you think? A parcel is like a package. Uh, package. Parcel means package. Okay. What is recorded delivery? Recorded delivery is like um, I don't know if you say raccomandata. It's like a uh, maybe. I, let me check that. Um, raccomandata in English. Right. One moment. I'll get it. Yeah. Raccomandata is a registered mail yeah it's like registered mail good awesome well done really good work okay so what next you did really really well with that so let's move on let's move on it's so difficult because normally normally i have people i can talk to um, but doing this on the internet makes it a bit more difficult it makes it a bit more difficult and sometimes people understand everything <sighs> anyway <laughs> uh okay so at the post office conversation good afternoon good afternoon how can i help you can I have a postcard and a stamp, please? Of course. Anything else? Yes, an envelope, please. How much is it? 
Um, it's four pounds fifty. Thank you. You're welcome. Four pounds fifty for an envelope is a is a, it's awful. That's really dreadful. I wouldn't pay four pounds fifty for an envelope. Talking about it's awful. Um, okay, let's move on. Okay, places in town. Match the word to the picture. Okay, let's do this. Oh, good. Oh, you're amazing. Excellent. Yes. A post office. B train station. C zoo. It's got to be a zoo. It's got the lemurs. Okay. C, uh, sorry, D aquarium. E supermarket. And F. It's the police station. Oh, goodness. Right. Okay. Well done. Well done. Excellent work. Marcello, again, you are the winner. Marcello equals king. Okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's because you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, there, there are another two people, although I'm not sure they're able to access the the comments box. I'm not sure. Don't be shy, guys. Get involved. Get involved. Uh, okay. So, use your maps to ask for directions excuse me hi where is the police station it's over there thank you excuse me where is the zoo it's right here thank you you're welcome okay where is where is the post office right i'm gonna start at this i'll say excuse me Excuse me. You answer, Marcello. Answer. Okay. So excuse me, exactly like it is on the screen. So I say, excuse me. What's what's the answer? Hi. Yeah. Good. Where is the? Where is the baker? Where is the baker? The bakery is probably better. Bakery. Oh, bakery. It's the bakery. Okay, um, we would say um, turn right and um, on the next 
feet. Yeah, we would say it like that. We'd say it like that. Excellent. Um, thank you. Thank you. Well done. Excellent. Okay, okay. <laughs> well done. Okay, Marcello, you've been really, really good. Thank you. And for those who have joined to have a look at what we're doing, um, thank you. I'm afraid we'll have to stop. We have run out of time. Where is the train station? It's right. Okay, I'll, I'll do this one. Um, right, I need to tell you where the train station is. It's um, it's over there. <laughs> it's over there. You can't miss it. It's so obvious. It's like Termini. <laughs> okay. Guys, we're going to have to stop. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your hard work. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There are lots of videos like this on our MyS channel, lots of different levels. Okay. See you soon. See you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.